Hello everyone, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to use MLflow runs to track your machine learning experiments. MLflow runs are an important concept in MLflow because they allow you to lock all of the information that is associated with your with a single run of your machine learning code. So in today's video we are going to what we are going to do is to create a new run um, under this experiment that we call default. As we can see here, right now there is no uh, no runs log. So let's create a new one using uh, the Python API. So to start a new run, we can use the method called start run, and this method will initiate a new MLflow run under which we can lock uh, information associated with this run, uh, like parameters, metrics, and artifacts. For example, in line number eight, I am using the method called lock parent to lock a parameter called learning rate and its value. And then I am ending the run using the method end run. So let's execute this code and see what happens. Python 04. Let's go to the API, the, the UI. Let's reload this. And okay, here we can see that MLflow has created um, a new run. Uh, if we, since we did not provide a wrong name, MLflow creates a new name, but it's basically a random name. Um, Let's click on it, and here we can see different things. We have the run ID and a string that identifies this run. We also have the source, basically the script that created this run, the date, and more information. Here we can see the different sections, like description, parameters, metrics, tags, and artifacts. We can see that we can see the learning range has been locked, um, and the value is 0 0.01. So this is everything for, the, for, for this video. Um, in the next one, we are going to keep exploring uh, uh, different ways that we can have to use runs in MLflow. So thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one.